Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Obviously, you guys already know who I am. I am Sunset Sid. Thank you guys so much for watching. First things first, okay? If you're watching this and you are not a part of the squad, the Sunset Squad, I mean, are we even really cool? So first things first, I need you guys to subscribe, like, comment, show your girl some love. Follow me on Instagram too, okay? My Instagram is Sunset Sid. Again, that is Sunset Sid, S-U-N-S-E-T underscore S-Y-D. I probably should have said that first, right? Just so you guys are not like following the wrong person. Anyways, so today is a little bit of a different video. I don't know about you guys, but with the winter months approaching, your girl has been trying to give my natural, luscious, flowy locks a little bit of a break. And honestly, between me and you, I'm a little bit sad about that. I love my long, luscious video hair. Like, it always makes me feel like a video vixen. I'm not even gonna hold y'all up. I love that long, flowy walk into the room. Hair is just boom, 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 boom. Who is she? Dang, girl, where you get that from? Hair down to your, to your ankles and cascading. <sighs> I'm kind of having withdrawals already. You know, if your girl wants to have some edges for this wedding, okay, your girl is gonna have to keep some braids in her hair, okay? So lately, I have been trying out a ton of protective hairstyles to see which one I like, which ones make my hair grow faster, and which ones actually last, okay? Because as you guys know, different hair textures hold on to different hairstyles differently and some is just like girl this braid can't even stay especially when you have like really really fine hair so my hair is more of a thicker coarse you know shrinkage is real your girl's hair be down here after i wash it your girl hair be like bing bop on up like a little spring okay you literally have to pull it like i could see myself wearing my natural hair and be like oh my god that girl ball hair and i could see me being like no i'm not look at this and don't nobody got time for that you know I'm not there yet, but I was just telling my uh, my mom, like, I really need to go get, like, my natural hair done because I'm pretty sure your girl has some length on these shoulders, which I do every time I wash my hair. But, you know, like, get my ends professionally clipped again, and that's going to be, like, one of my New Year's goals, along with uh, actually hanging up my clothes after I try them on in the room. It may sound small to you, but it's really, really big to me. So back to the video topic. Y'all know your girl just be rambling. So we're going to talk about hairstyles and which ones that I'm loving. So as you guys can see, I have long flowy braids, right? Now, if you guys look at my last braids, if you guys look at my last video, I also had long flowy braids, but they were two different braids, okay? The last braids that I had, they were actually called knotless braids that's like the new way that you guys have been hearing about everybody on instagram has like knotless braids and some of them look really really good and some of them is like girl i'm like oh looking at your knot on your knotless braids right now but i'm not gonna say nothing so these in my hair right now are called box braids the general box braids and then the braids that i had a few weeks ago were the knotless braids now I wanted to hop on the bandwagon and try the knotless braids because I've been seeing how flat they were, how versus how they were, less tension on your roots. They look like they last a long time. Plus, I like mine all the way down to my you know what. And they were, girl. When I tell you those braids were sweeping, uh, uh, they were so long and so flowy. <sighs> but if I'm being honest, we're just gonna compare box braids to my knotless box braids. And I'm kind of half and half, but for different reasons, okay? So let's dive into the different reasons of the box braids and the knotless box braids. Now, for box braids, love box braids, okay? I have them in right now, but like I said, I kind of wanted to hop on the bandwagon, if I'm being honest, and, you know, see how knotless braids treated your girl. And they treated me very, very great. Except, like, two to three weeks in, my hair started to fuzz out insane. And I 
kept finding myself having to like kind of retwist the front. You already know if you get braids, after you wash your hair a few times, you sometimes have to like retwist the front because they start looking like who did it and why, okay? So I started to figure that they were like getting old really, really quick. Not being funny guys, like three weeks in, I had like this much new growth, okay? This is a lot of new growth. Okay, I mean from the nail all the way down to like the little part of my finger right there. That's a lot of new growth. And I'm not one of those that looks cute when I have a bunch of new growth. I'm one of those that needs to go outside with her eyebrows, okay? I'm not one of those that can just have like bad hair, okay? Your girl actually looks homeless. <laughs> If I'm being honest, your girl real life looks homeless. I'm one of those that has to be put together all the time. Then again, that's just actually how I like to see myself put together all the time. Not being funny, you ain't gonna never catch me, you know, on a bad day. Okay, unless I just woke up. And I'm still cute, and I'm still a little delicate flower when I first wake up. But for me guys, knotless braids did not last long at all. And I'm so disappointed because... Knotless braids are not cheap, okay? Those braids literally were like over $200. I know, go ahead and guess. <gasps> you know, times like this, I wish that I had more skills like braiding, okay? Because your girl will be braiding her own hair, but I don't. I have other skills, but braiding just is not one. So I was a little bit upset that I spent like literally, like when I mean 200 guys, I mean like 230, 240, 250. That's all I'm gonna say. And I was so upset by like week three, I'm already having to take my hair out. Now, usually with braids, I am one of those people that can go like six, seven weeks without getting my hair done over. Now, what I usually do is, after I get my full set of braids, after about a month, then I go in and I get um, a retwist on the front. So I just get the perimeter of my hair done, like the first four rows around my entire head so that I can still do my updos and just don't look too hard in the middle. Like, don't be trying to split my hair and be standing all over me and trying to see, see all what's up inside of my, my box, okay? So usually I'm one of those, like I said, that can go like a month or so, and then after that, I can get a retwist. Girl, these braids, not being funny, they did not last like a month, okay? Like a month. Like even as I was taking it out, I'm just like, why am I doing this? I have to get another hairstyle. This braids only lasted me for one month. I was so upset about that. But I can say that when I got done with my knotless braids, it did take around eight hours because they were really, really long. Like I said, they were like past my butt. They were like waist length. I'm gonna see if I can like, you know, put a couple pictures so you guys can see how cute I was. But they were really long, so they definitely took a little bit longer, and hence the price. Of course, the shorter the length and the bigger, of course, the cheaper it is. But I like mine to be like medium, medium size, not too big, not too small, and then I like mine to be long. I mean, if I'm gonna have these braids for a while and I'm already used to long, luscious, flowing hair, I may as well go hard or go home, okay? I'm just saying, I may as well. Show me what you got. Just say it, but no, seriously. So I was a little bit disappointed that they did not last long at all. Now, I can say that after I got them done, guys, there was no tension on my scalp. Like, not being funny, I was able to pick those braids up, flip them, dip them, twirl them, okay? It did not feel like I just sat down for eight hours. I felt like my neck was like this because I was in so much pain. Obviously, from just sitting down and having someone standing over you, pulling, you know, pulling on your hair. But when I got up, guys, after they dip my hair, they usually dip your hair in like super scolding hot, hot water to ensure that the ends don't become ravelly and that they don't untangle all the way up. Plus, for me, it actually loosens up the braids and puts less tension on your hair. So that was great. So after they did that, guys, I was ready to flip my hair up. I did a super cute high bun. Yes, I'm one of those. That's a whole nother story for another day, okay? Because this bun gets me in trouble. But anyways, so if I had to compare my box braids to my knotless box braids, I'm a knotless girl all the way. But between me and you, I think the next time I get my hair done, I'm gonna have her do the knotless braids around the front. Because I cannot lie, I do love the knotless, seamless look around the front, plus it's less tension. But I definitely would prefer the back to just be regular, regular, like box braids but the front 
I definitely would prefer it to be a little bit more flat. Don't get me wrong, they're pretty flat to me, but I don't know, something about those knotless braids, man. I would not get my whole head because, like I said, it took way too long to do. One, because I love the length, long, long. And then they do not last long at all. Like, I've had my hair in right now for a few weeks, and they're still standing strong, okay? These braids are about to be in for a nice long time, okay? Don't judge me. Like I said, I've been really, really trying to give my hair a nice break so that by the time my wedding, ah, uh, hey, 2020 rides, by the time my wedding is here, your girl will have some edges because that's not cute okay no edges is not cute and like i said i need like to have my baby head slicked and all that okay so that's my my review box braids all the way but i see some of these girls with these knotlets and i'm just like wow they look so good they're so flat but they don't last long at all and i really wish someone would have told me this then again maybe it's my fault for not really doing my research like i should have Honestly speaking, I probably should have done a little bit more research on them. I saw them, I jumped on the bandwagon, I was like, hey, I want less tension. I still want long and flowy. I don't want it to be pulling on the roots of my hair and all of that. And I love them. I cannot lie, guys. But I think next time I'm just going to get my box braids and the rest of my hair and then get knotless around the front. So I can still have that seamless, no knot look in the front. And if you guys are wondering what a knotless braid is, if you guys watch all of this video and still like, What's a knotless braid? A knotless braid basically is a braid with no knot on the end. They basically add the hair about an inch into them doing the braid. They add the hair and that's where your quote unquote knot is. But even when the knot is there, it's not one of those big old thick knots. I'm not going to say like me because I have regular braids. But you guys can obviously kind of see the difference with the knotless braids and the regular braids. I mean... I'm cute either way, so I'm not even tripping, but I definitely will prefer the knotless braids, man. I basically need a friend that can braid because all this $250 some dollars, I mean. Then again, maybe I just need to kind of lower my expectations, huh? What do you guys think? Maybe I should get them like bra strap length maybe next time. Right now, they are like down my back, which is really, really cool. I love them still, but man, when I had them down to my butt, guys, I was sitting on them. Like I would get out the car like this. Oh my gosh. I would get up y'all my hair literally would be stuck to the seat my neck like this getting pulled and then let's not even talk about this bun guys I don't know if my car is too small or my bun is too big first of all I'm not sure if my bun is too big or the car is too small <laughs> I'm just trying to live my best life and my hair keeps getting caught on something that's Okay, but every single time I get in the car, I literally have to like get in the car like this because I don't want my bun to fall off. It's not gonna really fall off, but it literally was smacking. Like as I was getting in the car, guys, I was getting in the car and my bun was getting smacked like this. It was getting pulled because I wasn't expecting my car to be so small. Now, meanwhile, my car is not like a little baby, baby car, but I got a regular car and like I said, I don't know if I need to make my bun smaller, but my bun is a part of me now. So it's either my bun has to go or my car gotta go. So I basically need a new truck. I gotta tell my man that for 2020, <laughs> I need a new truck because my bun's not fitting and that's my compromise. You know how when you're pregnant, you get like a push gift. That's my compromise if he wants me to have edges. I said what I said. Even though he's gonna be like, girl, you already have edges. I actually have edges that go all the way down to like my eyebrow, but that's a whole nother story. So yeah, guys, my bun literally hits my car, the top of my car, every single time I get in. It's to the point now where I've like got a whole scheme of like a plan when I get into my car. You just can't get in and sit down. I have to like literally kind of get in like this. It's just a part of me now. And yeah, like I said, it's either car, the car that has to go or the bun. And my bun's not going anywhere. So let me know if you guys prefer box braids or knotless box braids. I at one point also tried Senegalese twist, And they're pretty cool too. But box braids is like my go-to. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not one of those girls that can like get multiple thousand hairstyles a month like i know some girls that literally change their hair like every other week 
I'm not one of those people. Like, not being funny, if you guys see me with a sew-in or a wig or a lace front or anything like that, you guys will probably see that hairstyle for like the few months. Now, don't try me. It's always fried, dyed, and laid to the side every single time you see me. But I'm one of those consistent hair style wearers. I'm not one of those that can go with a bob one week, the next day get back, straight back braids, jailhouse braids, the next day do a lace front, the next day do a um a curly bob the next i'm not one of those like i have to kind of roll with what i think and know looks best on me because i know me guys and as crazy as it is i never ever like my hairstyles when i first get them done and i'm just gonna be honest with you okay like my mom literally gets stressed out when i say i think i'm about to change my hairstyle she always like well i'm gonna have to charge you three thousand dollars because you're gonna stress me out with your complaining and i'm just like girl no i'm not but between me and you yes i am I am <laughs> like I said I just like what I like and I wish that I was one of those that could like you know try different hairstyles and it actually looks good on them but you gotta know what works for you so box braids work for me my sew-ins work for me but it was getting to the point with your sew-ins that I was becoming one of those girls that had like little shriveled little hair kind of stuck out of the, the sewings. It was kind of forcing it to lay over because I was putting so much stress and strain on my leave out. And then I would like try to switch it to the side. I would do a middle part, but your girl has a really big forehead. So middle parts on me just, it just doesn't look the same as it does on you. And I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? Your girl looks better with the nice side part, a deep swoop sexy vixen you know lush volume push to the front i look good with vixen hair okay i'm not one of those that can do middle parts i'm not one of those that can switch up my hairstyles i'm just giving y'all some facts about me okay so let me know what type of protective styles can i talk protective styles that you guys like because i think i need to try something else because my wedding is in coming up in 2020 okay and i don't know if i want to keep box braids for the next few months it's good for right now but i think i kind of want to switch it up just a little and in saying that i need to know some other styles that may work for me i've tried like senegalese twists i've tried the knotless box braids i've tried the regular box braids but i think i'm kind of going to be open to trying something else new in the future just so i can continue to give my hair a little bit of a break okay so thank you guys so much for watching!